Hello kids! Welcome to the Dodgeball Gym. Today we will be learning about subtraction in word problems. We have some fun stuff to learn, so let's get started. Does anybody know what this sign means when we see it in a math problem? This sign means to subtract, and some other words for subtract are to take away or minus. Today we are working with word problems which are just stories about math. Here is our first word problem. It says, I have seven balloons and then two of them pop. How many balloons do I have now? Remember, it is good to read it a second time. I have seven balloons and then two of them pop. How many balloons do I have now? I believe that this math problem is asking us to take away because it said that they had seven balloons, but some of them popped. If a balloon pops, you no longer can play with that balloon, so they go away. So we will be taking two of them away, just like it says in the word problem. I am going to start this with a circle drawing. Circle drawings are a great way to illustrate math stories or word problems. I am going to use seven circles to represent the seven balloons that we started with. Here are the seven balloons. The problem says that two of them popped. Do you think this means that it will take away two balloons or add two balloons? We will take away two balloons because they popped. I will put an X on two of these balloons to show that those two went away. Now the rest of the circles that do not have an X are the balloons that I have left. This is an awesome way to figure out the math problem. We need to write an equation to go along with this word problem. If you remember, we had seven balloons total at the beginning, so we will write the total, or seven, first, because this is how many we had before any of them popped. Then it told us that two of those balloons popped. We will now use the minus sign, or the takeaway sign, which tells me that I am going to take away two of those balloons that popped. When we take the two balloons away, how many do we have left? Looking at the circles, we started with seven, and two popped, and that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five. We have five balloons left. Great job, kids. You guys are awesome. Let's quickly do a math mountain, even though we have figured out the word problem. The really cool part about subtraction problems with math mountains is that usually we know the total. In this problem, the total we started with is seven. The seven is at the top because it is the total we started with. I also know that of those seven balloons, two of them popped. The two goes down as one of the partners. How many are left after the two balloons popped? The empty box is where the answer will go, and it will be how many balloons are left after two balloons popped. We know it's five because we counted in our circle drawing, and there are five balloons left. We can check our work with the math mountain because we know that two plus the other partner, five, equals seven, which is the total. Awesome, kids! Let's do another problem and see if you can do it. This time we are going to start by writing a math mountain, an equation, and then a circle drawing to prove the answer. Here is another word problem. It says eight children are playing, then five have to go home. How many are still playing? Let's read this one more time. Eight children are playing, then five have to go home. How many are still playing? Let's start with a math mountain. I will give you a moment to do it yourself, okay? I can tell just by reading this problem that I have a total because eight children were playing and some had to go home. So our total is eight, which goes at the top of the math mountain. We also know that five of the children had to go home. Five is one of the partners. We need to find out how many of those eight children are still playing after five went home. As we can see, we have a total and we have one of our partners. We need to find out the other partner. With this information, we can now write an equation. What is the equation? We have eight kids that were playing, so we will write our total first because all good subtraction problems start with the total. Then I will put down the subtraction sign. Five of them had to go home, so we put down five. And now there are still some playing, but we do not know how many that is. What is eight take away five? The answer is 3. 8 subtract 5 is 3. Amazing job, kids! To check our work, we can use a circle drawing. 
Here we have 8 circles to show the total amount of kids we started with. Now we subtract 5 circles because 5 of the kids went home. This leaves us with 3 circles which proves our answer. You guys did an awesome job. Thank you for helping me. We will see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Please share the video and subscribe.